Welcome to the channel. So today, I'm going to show you how um how to make an antidote clock. That is going to be um what do you say? Yeah, uh, antidote clock, which we're going to make, and we're going to make and um, without sorry, with less material. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, now I'll show you the things that we need for our craft. So, our uh, union paper plate, I painted it before I started the video. We need um, the we need some colors. We need watercolors, acrylic colors, any kind of colors you want, but that should not be the flat colors. And we do obviously need water. And we need one toothpick. Um, we need one toothpick, uh, we need one toothpick and you need some paper or you can also use um, ten cardboard if you want. So let's get started. So right over here is my painted um, base. Here I'm making a design. You can do this if you want, it's optional. I like this design to choose it and doing this. So you might think that first we just do this, um, these triangles, and then let me paint it brown. But yeah, don't do it like that because it may get spoiled. I've tried it before and it got spoiled. So do it this way. I had a little problem here. So that's why this, this is not a perfect one, but this looks really very pretty for me. So, and you also need a rule that is to where where you put the numbers here. So first, I painted in a in a second. Be back in a second. Yeah. So I also did while the plate is drying. It's a drying that is. Uh, this is how it looks. You know, like if you like the design, then please subscribe. To should this be to your friends and your relatives and people who loves crafting from your side and uh, if you like this design that i showed just now so to share this video with everyone else and yeah i want to let everyone else and please also subscribe like the channel and and wait for the next video also that is so here uh wait i'll take my camera all down so you can see my work while i'm working so here i've written like few of the numbers why well, one got destroyed while i was painting so yeah so i i don't know what i can do but yeah my one got destroyed my rest of them are still fine so I'm painting them. This antique clock won't work. So, yeah, keep that in mind. You can like spend the um kata. Uh, I mean not kata. Uh, sorry, you can spend what do you say? The minute and the hour clock. You may think this is like a this is like a, a craft. So for me, if you came here, if you came here, I would like to see how to make an actual antique clock. The new and the long place that is wait. Hmm, I did a mistake. Wait, a mistake. Uh, I rub this paint off. Maybe it's here. Actually, I don't know what to do, but yeah. So I'm just like here's my clock. I'm totally the square for it. I just this is for the sun for you, right? For me, same. I like the sun design for myself. So I put this in the water and and have to wait for some time while it dries. So we we'll have back in a sec. We'll be back in a second and yeah. And I'm telling you one more thing. Um, the next I'll tell you what to do next now if you don't remember. Here, I have the structure ready and it looks like, yeah, so let's test it out. Let me put it, I'll put this thing, take it off, uh, oh, poke it. I did this before I even started the coloring, anything like that. 
I'm just gonna edit it and start this up. So, I can add a stick, it's just a little too long, I guess, so maybe I'll just trim it a bit. Break it and trim it. There. I can turn it out and I make one. You can turn it by now. So, but they put double tape so that it doesn't like um go very much. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Uh, so yeah. Instead I found a way like this kind of it. So uh, you ha you have to hold it. You have to stick a long while you're holding it and I feel like put it like all the way in. Like yeah. So, and unfold, and there's more. Um, yeah, look at it. Oh, yeah, it's probably is it? But yeah, that's okay. So, this is like a good time. Anyway. I like that culture, but yeah, we're gonna do it. Bye!